This video will demonstrate the reset procedure for a Sentry 2 HS Motorized Skylight or WLS Motorized Window Control System manufactured by Truth Hardware. It's suggested that you have the installation instructions for your Sentry Motorized System in order to, to clearly understand and follow the safety guidelines for a reset procedure. Printed instructions should have been included in the motorization kit or supplied with the motorized window or skylight from the manufacturer. You can also print a copy of the installation instructions from our website at www.truth.com. Temporary disconnection of the power supplied to your motorized window or skylight is required to perform a hard reset to the controller. This is most commonly done by shutting off the power at the breaker which supplies the 110 volt AC to the unit. The first step is locating and marking the circuit breaker which supplies power to the unit. Next, shut that breaker off. Remove the cover on the HS skylight or remove the wall plate from the WLS window controller. Next, locate the dip switch block on the circuit board. It should be located toward the side of the box. Note the positions of all the dip switches because you will be returning them to this setting later on in this procedure. Switch all the dip switches to the off position. Turn the circuit breaker to restore power to the unit back on. The LED on the control board should begin blinking red. Turn off the breaker to shut the power off once again. The LED should go back off. Restore the dip switches to the previous on settings. Return the breaker back to the on position to restore power to the unit. At this point, the unit is ready to receive an open command to start the learn cycle. We'll use the remote control. The unit should begin a full open and close cycle with the red LED lit. Once the cycle is complete, the skylight or window should be in the closed position and this would complete the reset procedure. A couple of quick tips. The HS units can actually be reset more easily by disconnecting the white power connector located in the center of the control board to interrupt power. You can also initiate a soft reset by pressing both the outside buttons on either the wall switch or the remote control. Once the unit is closed, it's ready to resume normal operation. We'll test that using the remote control. Press the open. You'll note that now we have a green light lit either on the wall switch plate or in the control box. Press the close button to stop the unit. Press close again to close. Again the green light indicates normal motor operation. At this point you can reinstall your motor cover and this procedure, the reset procedure is complete. Thank you. Truth Hardware, better from every perspective.